Hi everyone, Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly tip for your best next move, where I help you have more agency in your work, acknowledge your capacity to act and to see what you can do right now. So this week, I wanted to share another example of how to respond to internal change, which we all know is happening much more frequently now, but that we're never really still ready for, right? One of my clients learned that a major departmental wide organizational change was going to affect his team. So in short, the function of his team would be absorbed into another part of the company, but it wasn't clear whether his team would actually move with that function or not, or what their future would be. And there was little direction coming from his direct manager who seemed to lack the ability to manage the organizational dynamics around this change or to proactively direct this transition. His manager was taking a, well, we'll wait and see what happens kind of stance, which was very unsettling to my client. He pressed for answers, but he wasn't getting them. He has very strong feelings about the value that his, of the team that he has built and how they could be positioned to, to contribute to the new organization. And that value was based on his understanding of, of the skills, strengths, and experience that his team offered how those could be used, even amplified by the new organization in new ways. He was clear about how the talents of his team members lined up with the emerging needs of the organization where they would best be deployed. So he decided to reach out to his manager's boss to share his thoughts. While he wasn't sure he had the influence and political capital in the upper levels of the organization to do this, and he knew it might be a risky move, he wanted to be part of the conversation on creating the path for his team in the new organization. The result of this, his manager's boss did meet with him, listened to his concerns and ideas, and invited him to meet again to help shape his team's transition, as well as the broader departmental operating structure. So here's what's important here. He took that important first step to building and leveraging his influence in the organization on his foundational belief that he could optimize his team's abilities against the organization's needs. And as a result, that he could chart a path forward that would create more possibilities for everyone. He put himself in a more deterministic position to be able to chart a course for his team. So here's my tip. When internal, internal change hits you and your team and the future is uncertain, don't necessarily wait for others to determine your fate. Take the enterprise view, consider the value contribution of your team and how it is aligned with the emerging needs of your company. In an uncertain world, no one has all the answers or knows the road ahead. So use your personal agency to share your ideas with others in the organization who could benefit professionally and personally from your perspective. And you might be surprised at the outcome. I want 2021 to be a year of momentum for you. One of possibility thinking where you take advantage of the agency we sometimes forget we have. So that's my tip for this week. I'll see you next Monday. Have a great week and take care.